Saw a good question today in the Articulate Storyline forums regarding how to make a character fit within a shape. Like we see here, this character at the top of my slide is appearing right within this uh, circle shape that I've drawn. So I'd like to show you one way that you can do this. You might already know that in Storyline, you know, you can crop characters by selecting the character and then coming up to the Format tab and hitting this Crop button. But when you crop a character, it's always going to crop to a straight edge, right? It's going to maintain that rectangle or square shape. It's not going to um, be possible to force the crop to take on a certain shape. But here's what you can do. What I'm going to do here is right click on my character and then I'm going to choose Save as Picture. And that's going to allow me to save this character as a PNG file on my hard drive. So I'll go ahead and hit save. And now what I'm going to do is use that PNG that I just created as the fill for my circle. So let's draw our circle. I'm going to go to the insert tab and choose shape and then select the circle shape. And I'm going to click and drag and hold down my uh, shift key here to constrain that circle so that it's a nice perfect circle. And um, right now we're just seeing the default fill color on this shape. This blue color is just what gets applied by default. But of course I could change this on the Format tab. You know, I could go through and select a different color. But what we're going to do is click in the corner of the Shape Styles menu here. And that's going to bring up this Format Shape dialog. And this is where I can choose um, a, a different uh, set of options for the way that I fill my shape. And one of the options is Picture or Texture Fill. And once I select that option, I can click this File button and then browse to the file that I want to fill that shape with. In this case, we're going to use that character, that PNG that we just created. Now right now she's appearing kind of squashed on my slide here. This doesn't look quite right. It's, you know, the dimensions aren't what I had intended. Um, but we can fix that. What I'm going to do is click on this little uh, checkbox that says Tile Picture as Texture, and then her proportions go back to what they were before. And if you don't quite like the positioning of the picture within that shape, you can use these offset options to move things over one pixel at a time. Like if I wanted to move her to the left, I would just click on this offset X. Uh, the down arrow would move her to the left a little bit. The up arrow moves her to the right. And offset Y will allow us to move her up or down. So I can put um, a little bit of space between you know the top of her head and the edge of my circle. So this looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And right now you're noticing probably that there's no other fill behind her. That's because um, the image that we created from that character has a transparent background. But if I wanted that circle to show up like this one, you know, with a fill color, here's what I would do. I'm going to um, just do a control shift drag to make a duplicate um, right in line with that very same circle. And then I'm going to come back up to the format tab and choose the corner of the shape styles menu to open up the format shape dialog. And this time I'm just going to choose a solid fill and you can, you know, select a different color if you want to. I'll just keep the default and then hit close. And then I'm going to send this to the back. Okay, so up here in the format tab, we can choose send to back. And now what happens is I can move that right behind my character that I've placed inside the circle. And now it's going to look like she's got that blue background. So that's one way that you can um, create a fill with a character so that your um, shape can totally surround the character that you want to insert.